another good beautiful morning today we got cloud cover today but it's still nice huh if you're new here i'm aaron feenstra that is my lovely wife anisa right there and uh, we recently arrived here in nizhny novgorod in the russian federation we are used to cold weather it's uh, not much different than canada actually some parts of canada have been much 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 colder we arrived here it was minus 25 uh, but just last week in western canada it was minus 50 so it gives you an idea that we're not exactly new to cold weather today we are going to head out uh, got a bit of shopping to do we're going to head to a shopping mall uh, for the first time we're going to try the andex here we've done that in georgia we have never tried that here in russia and so we're gonna give it a go, see how well it works. Of course, we have Google Translate uh, as well as Yandex Translate, so that'll help us to navigate our way. And uh, we're not super afraid of getting lost because, I mean, it's middle of the day and we'll figure it out. Either that or call a friend, somebody will come pick us up. Successfully landed the Yandex part. <laughs> Now let's hope we make it to the mall. Right? Yeah. Can't be any worse than Georgian Yandex. They're horrendous drivers over there. I should say they're fairly safe. They're just uh, very aggressive driving. So, waiting for some traffic. Very snowy here. So, we gotta wait for everybody to get out of the way first. Now, I need to discover the seatbelts work. <laughs> that was not a luxury in, uh, or it is a luxury in, uh, in Georgia, right? Did you ever have one work in a seatbelt type? No, not in the back seat, no. Never. No, I would fight with it or it would be tucked underneath or yeah. yeah. No, they never seem to work. They have different rules here though. get a lot of snow here compared to back home they just don't remove it the same way so it kind of it's all piled up right here beside the uh, beside the car but uh, we spend a lot more tax dollars in just from what I'm seeing here right now we spend a lot more tax dollars removing snow getting it scraped off at night put it in dump trucks and haul it out of the city where here they just seem to leave it all right I mean there's a snow bank right in the city so we wouldn't see that back home well in spots you would see it but you would in spots you would see that but you wouldn't be able to it's not that we we have to we, we can leave it there because we get so much more snow that they have to actually remove it or you won't be able to drive on the road that's right yeah right yeah i forget if it was last winter or the winter before uh my mother and father-in-law live out in the country and their road was actually closed for three days there was so much snow uh nobody could go anywhere and so he sent me footage of the snow plow backing up and ramming the snow trying to get the road open they get a lot of snow from time to time. It's not not every year. This year they had a green Christmas again, uh, but some years they really get hit. I think this mall is where we're heading. This is where we're going. I think so. Nebo, yeah. So this is a Nebo on the bottom. I think so. Successfully made it. That's not too complicated. So I asked him if he spoke English, he didn't speak any English. It's funny when you, yeah, exactly what Anissa just said, he understood. Because uh, I always think that's amusing when you ask people, do you understand English? They're like, no. So, well, obviously you understood English enough to, to catch that, right? Yeah. So, you um, speak it, they're like, no, no, like, you know, but I think they understand it. The, the younger generation. For those of us who don't know us, this is the actual height difference between us. <laughs> so to have me center framed, my wife's not in, or vice versa. So we have to kind of like do this. I am six foot three, and you are five. Maybe five one. <laughs> five one. Yeah. So, big difference. Anyway, I gotta get this two cup. It is way too warm in here. Okay, so it says 
parking. Well, the good news is and that the numbers are the same in this country as in ours. <laughs> yeah. right, so easy. that one's alarm bell, not recommended. This one. I'd say try number one. Yeah. No oh, hey, man, we're going somewhere. We're number three now. Were we in number one? We must have been in yeah, number one. Yeah, we were in number one. I'm actually looking for a bathroom, and it's said to go down this hallway, so we did. And all we found in the hallway was an elevator, and I don't think they want me to, you know, use the elevator. We'll figure it out. I think this might be some kind of a kid's zone again. Maybe. There's something in there. Seating. A big look, big area for kids again. Restaurant over there. Very nice. Hey, yeah, it looks very similar to what we would have saw in uh, Tbilisi. And this may be for movies? I'm guessing that's for movies. Hey, it looks like a theater, doesn't it? Kind of? I think it's a theater. There you go. We're just commenting we don't stand out so much here. We, uh... Other than when we speak, yeah. I was in an elevator and some guy was there and I was like, hello! Yeah. And then I realized... You don't know what I'm saying. I'm yeah, not yeah. speaking the same language. You don't think hello is universal? Oh, I think so. But yeah. it was like one of those, he, he didn't want to say anything back to me because it was like, well, I might converse in a different language that he didn't know. So Yeah, then he'd be confused. Yeah. All right. Oh, there we go. So a big food court. I'm sure we're going to find a bathroom in here somewhere. Oh, it looks like an easy might have found. Look at all this stuff. Hey? Yeah. Found it. We see. Looks pretty prosperous and nice in here, I gotta tell you that. And they still have Burger King here, but it looks a bit. I thought most of the Western brands took off, but that is a Burger King. <laughs> right here. Burger King. Uh, other than that, I don't think I recognize any of the other ones. Just thinking about grabbing a bite to eat here a minute. Since it is about lunchtime. Do you want Burger King? Mm. Bring back memories? Yeah. How many years ago did you work at Burger King? Uh, lots. Lots. 20? 20 years? More than that, probably. About 20? Let's do the math. <laughs> That's just saying, you're almost 40, so. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyways, once upon a time, my lovely wife worked behind the counter at Burger King. This has got to be one of the biggest food courts I've ever seen. I don't know how big this ball is. It goes uh, all the way around. So I don't recognize any brands here either. Burger King is the only one I think that I recognize. Anyway, we were way over there at the Burger King, so lots of room here for food. Lots of options. I'm pretty sure this used to be KFC. It looks like a KFC. Rostics. Anyway, they got the chicken in a bucket right there. So I think this is the new... Uh, Russianized KFC. All right, we changed our mind on food. We're gonna go do some shopping first. Take a look around, see what we can find, and show you guys this mall. So they've—it's uh, a pretty nice-looking mall. I don't know how new it is, but lots of nice shops and stores. Very updated, nice, prosperous. Today is what a Monday, I think. It's very quiet in here. There is many, many layers to this thing. Got any? Here's a map, huh? If that means anything to you. Yeah, 
I'm gonna say that this maybe is where we are. I'm just guessing. Probably makes sense because I think we came in over here somewhere and probably walked around here maybe. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Probably best off just to keep walking, right? Yeah. It says kids. Gary Kids, so that's one four. Okay. Man, that's a lot of stores. Yeah. Fashions are a bit more like what we're used to too. place or something there. I don't see one of those lights there, eh? No. So, huh? so here we can see what's down below us. Yeah? That's the other parking lot, huh? No? And I go all the way up to the top. Hey, you don't check out any of these stars turn on, she's long gone. They're always something like what we wanted. It seems like they have much more varieties in their store compared to Georgia. Georgia more variety. Yeah, when I found Georgia, it's like everybody sold the exact same thing. Ah, yes. Like everyone had either boots or everybody had like phones or everybody That's had right. like. Yeah, we did right, but here there's a lot more variety in the stores, so it's not like everybody's style is the exact same. You could go to different stores and find different stuff. Yep, that's makes it. sense. The wife knows the way to the children's shop we go. Huh? That's all I can think of. I'm just guessing. You don't actually know what we're doing? It says the <gasps> it's the kids. Oh look, we need to go in there. What's in there? Hey, straight ahead, there's something. Hey, there's a haircut place. What? We need a haircut anyway. Derb, Derby, Barbershop. Oh yeah, I wasn't even filming. I hate it when I do that. Uh, one issue we're having, not a huge issue, but we don't, uh, the stove. This here stove, like it's absolutely tiny. And uh, they do that for apartments, obviously, to save space, but it's pretty hard cooking for a family of 10. You can't get all your pots up. We use pretty large pots and then they all end up overlapping and touching each other and like it gets kind of dangerous because they're hanging over the edges. They just don't fit that well. Our stoves at home would be almost twice that wide probably. It's a very, very narrow stove. So lots of nice stuff. t seems to be a common brand in this store. I got lots of different stuff here. Here's a pot set that's on sale. Big savings. There's a kettle on sale for 1,600 rubles. We had vacuum cleaners, all sorts of appliances, wash machines. These I thought were really nice. So this is a apartment size again, width-wise. You want to stand beside that, huh? So she's a little over five feet. I think they're they're really really tall. Uh, so to me, they're even taller than I am, and I'm six foot three. So really really tall, but they're very thin. And so you could easily get two of those. Yeah, we've talked about doing it. You get two of these, one fridge and one freezer side by side, and it actually doesn't take up that much space because they're so tall. I really like it. It's a nice looking one, eh? Mm -hmm. So anyway, it gives you price ideas here again. Loads of stuff. Fancier built-ins. We also don't have an oven, actually. In the apartment that we're in, we do not have an oven. Which is fine. It's just a temporary thing, right? But uh, oven's 
pretty important for cooking meals for a large family as well. <laughs> Lots of nice looking stuff as well. Oh, even a little uh, countertop style. Very, very small one here. Where did you go? There she is. Oh yeah, that's a bigger one, eh? Is it a dryer? A lot of the apartment size ones are small. That looks like a dryer, yep. Absolutely. It's got a lint bucket in it. Heat pump. Yeah, I've seen, I've heard somebody say they have a two-in-one washer and a dryer. So you think this might wash? So a lot of people suggested, well, you can use Google Translate. Well, I'm using my phone to film. I cannot use Google Translate or Yandex Translate at the same time as filming. So I have to shut it off, translate it, then turn the film back on and try to remember everything that I read under the translate. So, uh, yes, it can work, but it's not ideal. I have to learn the language. That's what it really comes down to at the end of the day. No, we'll have to try. We will learn. We are committed to learning this language. Actually, children are getting farther on their studies. It's, I mean, we've only been here a couple weeks and we spent the first week sick, so um, Anissa and I need a lot more work yet too. Vacuum cleaners, ironing boards. I'm being called back. Look how, how narrow these are. Sorry, just a minute. I'll be right here. Look how skinny those are. Teeny, teeny, teeny. What do you got? Can you fit in there? Oh yeah, that is a big one. And that is a dryer again? So back in Canada, she had a huge slow cooker. You could fit three of these guys in it. And it's great for your big functions. Big functions? Well, even just for big our family. Things. But I mean, if we had uh, company over, we for have... For our family, we need a good-sized chicken and a whole bunch of potatoes and a whole yeah. bunch of vegetables, and it would take up the whole thing. That's right. So if we, can we open one of these? Not sure. Well, that one's kind of plugged up. But anyway, you'd have a hard time fitting a chicken in there. Never mind everything else we want to stick in. My hand's only really small. Yeah. Well, they're very, very small. Like I said, you could fit probably at least three of this guy, if not more, in the one she used to have. So why didn't we just take it along? Well, that's complicated to do, traveling around. We did not know the timeline of getting to Russia. It's extremely expensive to fly suitcases around. Containers, we considered loading some stuff in a container and getting it shipped, but we didn't know the logistics with the sanctions if we could get our container in. And really, I mean, they have all the same products here, so why would we lug a bunch of old stuff all the way across when we could just uh, you know, buy the same, same stuff here, often much, much cheaper. My only real regret not taking along is my tools, because they are actually priced higher here. Uh, good quality tools are higher priced. But all the other stuff, pots, pans, all that kind of stuff, I mean, you can get them anywhere. It's not a big deal. Lenovo. I like that brand. Those are good ones. Oh yeah, loads of stuff. Need a toaster? Yeah. Do you have any four slicers? Don't see any. No, So this is uh, two, Dva, and we would have a Dean Dva Tree Chitiria. Chitiria. Chitiria or four slice is what we're used to. But we can make do without that. Meat grinders. These are more small tabletop stuff. You're not going to grind a whole cow in there, Bosch. That's an excellent name right there, Bosch. Very good quality. Hey, you got mixers in the next aisle. German made mixer. Yeah, these are Redmond, we've heard of that one before too, have we not? Mm -hmm. Alright, what kid doesn't like Lego and what adult that grew up with Lego still doesn't like Lego? So this is a new Lego store. I don't know. But they've got all the great Legos. Now I've heard Lego pulled out, but they basically just changed the company. Well, these ones still say Lego on it though. Lego. Привет. 
Very nice. Yeah. I have to learn my Russian. It's awesome. Kids would love this. Beautiful. Oh, look at the village pieces back there. Beautiful. Yeah, even on this roller coaster ride, it took a while to build. Very cool. I will forever love Lego, and Lego is one of those toys that I think are actually really, really good for kids because they uh, they teach them how to build stuff, and it's not a one-time thing. I mean, every time you tear it apart and put it back together, you have a different something. What are you looking at? I don't know. You're learning to read. <laughs> A dictionary to help us out, and now she's just looking for some simple children's book. That doesn't look simple. <laughs> this one does. This one's got like the simple. Ooh, I can do that. It's like an educational thing for the. It's all kind of like a library, except it's not a library. It's a bookstore, I guess. We're in a bookstore. Trying to find uh, books right now for us all. Just basic stuff to help us learn the language. This is a little bit more basic, but it's still got a lot of words. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it looks more like what we would be. Another big store. I think I was in here the other day. At least something similar to this. Looking for snow pants. Kids toys, farm toys, and yeah, cows. There's a farmer and his dog. We are looking for an aqua saucer. Uh, if you don't know what that is, hopefully I'll find one. Oh, look at Anissa's got with something. They're a great spot to put a kid that is uh, mobile, but not, not quite at the intellect level to be mobile, yeah? Which is like from one year or younger, probably six months all the way to two. <laughs> These? Why? Oh, because they got wheels. They got wheels. Oh, yes, 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 you're right. We can't have those. There's a rule for everything in Canada, I tell you. Too many people let their kids just wheel down the down stairs. the stairs with them? Yeah. And that was not recommended. Not recommended, so they had to this ban it. This is true. Right. Interesting though, they do have the same kind of car seats and booster seats as we do. Mm, this is true. No difference. So what do you want to do? You want to get one of these? No, no, that's not what I want. Even this little guy here would work, no? It's not what I'm still talking about. Okay, I think it's the only option they have in this four. We could go to another store. It is really hot in here. Which takes the fun out of wandering around. Plus, we picked up a few things. It's getting a little heavy. It's a very nice mall here though. People knew her by her will To make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone But she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming of the day Butterflies survive the wheel Even though she get knocked down and never showed
good to have a haircut. We typically don't uh, ever pay for a haircut. We just do them at home. It saves a lot of money. Uh, and especially the amount of people we have, it's just a lot more affordable and economical to cut at home. But the odd time, that doesn't work out. And it's nice just to go in and get a haircut and get done. So now we're going to grab my date and get going. But you can tell it's starting to get dark out there. It's actually a nice view with the window. Right? Beautiful. I'm going to go wander to the window. We were uh, blown away by the amount of comments of people that say we don't dress proper and they don't dress warm. We come from Canada, we're very used to this weather. As I explained earlier, I don't like my face covered. But my wife thought she would impress you all by covering up. <laughs> oh, you still have too much showing. Cover up. You gotta pull your hood down. Oh. <laughs> there. So for the record, I dressed my wife very warm today. <laughs> How do you feel? Overheated? <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> we appreciate your concern, but we are quite warm. It's not that cold here. This jacket has a thermal. I have thermal in this jacket, yeah, if anybody cool. knows. It's like a... Hey, your hood's thin. Like, Maybe that's why here. you think you have a thin coat. See? It's got a thermal thing in here. Yeah. They probably think you have a thin coat yeah. because your hood's thin. Yeah. These yeah, are very warm cool. coats. The lighting is terrible, but we are uh, back in a taxi. Yeah? Did you have fun shopping? Amazing. It's all good. Beautiful mall. Nice experience. Yeah. Had a great time together. Uh, bought a few things and uh, hopefully we will make it home now again. That's always the fun part. Not super worried though. It's all good. The Andex app makes it super duper easy to get around and uh, you don't really have to communicate. Google Translate can handle it if you need to. But. So anyway, hope you enjoyed shopping with us. We'll catch you all in the next one. God bless you. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty Blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a car for two